The ancient Greeks have a way of capturing our imagination. From their innovative political systems to their profound philosophers and captivating myths. And one more thing, they gave us the Olympics. Though only a unified empire for a decade under Alexander the Great, the ancient Greeks left lasting cultural influence throughout the modern world. Around 800 BCE, hundreds of Greek tribes rose out of a dark age ushered in by the collapse of an earlier warrior culture, the Mycenaeans, the inspiration for Homer's tales of the Trojan War. By 600 BCE, the classical era of ancient Greece began, marked by the ascendance of Athens and Sparta. Greek culture later spread beyond the Eastern Mediterranean, under the Northern Macedonians. Philip and his son Alexander, as the younger son's armies conquered Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Persia in the mid-4th century BCE. Greek city-states were shaped by mountainous terrain and dozens of small peninsulas, where connected cultures nonetheless remain fairly isolated. Easy access to the sea formed the Greeks into natural seafarers. They set up trading posts around the Mediterranean, from northern Libya to the shores of the Black Sea. When Athens dominated, the arts flourished symbolized by the majestic Parthenon atop the city's Acropolis, which the statesman Pericles commissioned in the mid-5th century BCE. Because slavery was legal and common, Athens' 100,000 free citizens had the leisure time for debate. Among them was Plato, whose world-famous philosophical dialogues featured the discussions of itinerant philosopher Socrates on the nature of justice, knowledge, and more. Herodotus, called by some the father of history, is credited with writing one of the first consciously historical narratives, while some of the greatest works of tragedy stem from this period, including Sophocles' Oedipus Rex. Beyond philosophy, Athens established one of the first pure democracies in the world, where each citizen participated in debate, elections, and votes on policy. Ironically, Plato famously condemned democracy as a collective tyranny, partly because Socrates was condemned to death by a majority vote. This view held sway in most of the world until the 20th century. The so-called Hellenistic era saw Greeks establish cities far beyond Greece proper, including scholarly Alexandria in Egypt, Antioch in Syria, and Kandahar in modern Afghanistan. When the Romans conquered much of Greece in the mid-2nd century BCE, they adopted many Greek ways, including its architecture, literature, and pantheon. Greek became the dominant language of the empire's eastern half, and Julius Caesar styled himself after Alexander the Great. And today, the United States' constitution and legal system and its many imitators around the world draw core ideas from Greek democracy and Roman republicanism.